Good day kids! Today I will be teaching you about least common multiple or also known as LCM. First, let's define what is LCM. LCM is the smallest common multiple of two or more numbers. Multiple meaning to say it is the product that we get when one number is multiplied by another number like in our multiplication table. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 are multiples of 2. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, and 36 are multiples of 3. Multiples are forever, meaning to say you can add as much as you can. To know more about LCM, let's solve the following examples. Just like TCF, there are also different ways in getting an LCM. First is listing multiples. For example, you are asked to solve for the LCM of number 6 and 10. Let's start with 6. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18. 4 times 6 is 24. 5 times 6 is 30. 6 times 6 is 36. 7 times 6 is 42. 8 times 6 is 48. 9 times 6 is 54. And 10 times 6 is 60. The list of multiples for 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, and so on. Now, let's do number 10. If you are familiar with its multiples, we can skip this process and proceed right away to the next step. The list of multiples for 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and so on. If you notice, as we list the multiples for a number like 6 and 10, we are just doing skip counting, right? Then after listing some of the multiples for number 6 and 10, let's circle all the common multiples. The common multiples are 30 and 60. Between these two, the smallest multiples is 30. Therefore, the least common multiple of 6 and 10 is 30. What about solving the LCM of three numbers like 2, 4, and 12? Since listing of multiples is the same as skip counting, let's do it this way. The list of multiples for 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, and so on. For 4, the list of multiples are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, and so on. And the list of multiples for 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, and more. Now, let's circle all the common multiples. We have 12, 24, and 36. Among these three, the smallest is 12. Therefore, the least common multiple of 2, 4, and 12 is 12. I'll give you tips to easily spot the LCM using this method. First, you start listing the multiples of the biggest number. Like, among 2, 4, and 12, the biggest is 12. 
the multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, and so on. Then, for 4, the list of multiples are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and more. Next is the multiples of 2. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and so on. And after that, the first common multiple you see on the list will be your LCM. Like for example, the first common multiple here is 12. Therefore, the LCM of 2, 4, and 12 is 12. Okay, remember kids, this method, listing of multiples, is applicable only for smaller numbers. But, if you are going to solve for a higher one, I suggest to use the other way which is continuous division. For example, you are given 28 and 70. Using our prime magic numbers, 2, 3, 5, and 7, let's divide these two numbers. Since 28 and 70 are both even numbers, let's divide them by 2. 28 divided by 2 is 14. 70 divided by 2 is 35. Can we still divide 14 and 35? Yes. By what number? Is it 2? No. 3? No. 5? No. How about 7? Yes. 14 divided by 7 is 2. 35 divided by 7 is 5. If the quotient is no longer divisible by any of our prime magic numbers, we now proceed to the next step, which is multiplying all the numbers outside the ladder. 2 times 7 times 2 times 5 is equal to 140. Therefore, our LCM for 28 and 70 is 140. Now, what if you don't like to use the prime magic numbers and divide 28 and 70 by 14 right away? Well, it's okay because you will still get the same answer. Like, 28 divided by 14 is 2. 70 divided by 14 is 5. Multiply all the numbers outside. 14 times 2 times 5, you still get 140. Therefore, your LCM for 28 and 70 is 140. Next is getting the LCM of 3 given numbers, which is 36, 60, and 90. Using our prime magic numbers, let's divide all of them by 2 since these 3 are even numbers. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 60 divided by 2 is 30. 90 divided by 2 is 45. Can we still divide all of them by the same number? Yes. Are they divisible by 2? No. How about 3? Yes. Let's divide all of them by 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 30 divided by 3 is 10. And 45 divided by 3 is 15. Question. Are these 3 divisible by the same number? No. Why? Because if you look at it, only 6 and 10 is divisible by 2. Another is only 6 and 15 is divisible by 3. Also, only 10 and 15 is divisible by 5. And obviously, they are all not divisible by 7. So, does it mean that our ladder stop right there? No. We will still continue as long as there are at least 2 numbers that we can divide by the same divisor aside from 1. Here you have three options. Either you choose 6 and 10, 
6 and 15 or 10 and 15? Me, I choose 6 and 10 and divide it by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And since 15 is not divisible by 2, I'll just bring down 15. Can we still continue our ladder? Yes, because both 5 and 15 are divisible by 5. Since 3 is not divisible by 5, we will just bring down 3. Then, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Are there still more? Of course. 3 and 3 are both divisible by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. Bring down 1 and then 3 divided by 3 is 1. For the next step, as I told you before, we will just multiply all the numbers outside the ladder. So 2 times 3 times 2 times 5 times 3, times 1, times 1, times 1 is equal to 180. Therefore, the LCM for 36, 60, and 90 is 180. There you have it. I hope you learned something today. If you like our discussion, please like and subscribe. Thank you and see you again next time. Bye!